in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most graceful, my dear students in grade six will come back again to our final revision in science, the first part, inshallah, because we have two parts. Today we will discuss part one. Next time, inshallah, we will discuss the last part and part two. Today, for the first five lessons, because we have two lessons in science, so today we'll discuss from lesson one to lesson five, okay? So worksheet, open your box, please. Uh, page one and two and three and four in the booklet and inshallah final test will come from the booklet as you may know okay so pay attention and concentrate more so topic two listen five producers and consumers page 32 and 33 in the book al muntigin al mustalikin shabab so met the words with their definitions was like a tarifatha producer al muntig is the living thing that makes its own food as the plant okay and nabat the only one that is called producer but consumer, the other living things as human and people and animals are called consumers because we can't make our own food. We only cook the food, but we can't make the own food. Consumer is the living thing that eats plants or animals. Decomposer, decomposer, al-muhallil, al-kanil al is the living thing that breaks down dead plants or animals. al-kanil al al Photosynthesis, repeat after me. Photosynthesis. Al bina al dawi, ya shabab. Amit bina al dawi is the process in which the plants make their own food. Al amit al tayyum biha nabat bi sunu al gizaa bi nafsu. Food chain as a cell gizaa is the way that starts with a producer and is with the top consumer. Hey, the طريقة التي تبدأ بالمنتج وتنتهي بأعلى من المستهلك. Okay. So put the animals in order in the following food chain. ضع الحيوانات أو كات الحية بالترتيب في هذه السلاسل الغذائية. Uh, we will answer immediately. To save time, we offer a lot. Number one, we'll start with sap of acacia tree. No, I'm going to say that it's sap of acacia tree. Okay. Number two, cicada. Cicada, no, it's a kind of insect. So, as we said, when we have food chain, that means that this one feeds upon this one, and this one feeds upon this one, and this one feeds upon this one. And we start with a producer, and then followed by consumers. Okay. In the second food chain, shark, turtle, shrimp. Uh, this one is called, we have two ways to pronounce it. But I think Number one, algae. Algae. And the second one, algae. 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 And algae, okay. So me means a tohlu. So algae or algae, and then shrimp, and then turtle, and then shark. Okay. So this is the first worksheet. Number two, quickly move with me to two to save time. Hurry up. Uh, the lesson is lesson six. More about feeding relations relationships. Al mazid min al alaqat al khasa bil taqzi shabab. Okay. Page 34 and 35. Hurry up. Complete with the correct word from the list. Praise, omnivores, carnivores, herbivores. al faraisa al hanat al tagadha ala kulla min anabat al hayawan al tagadha al hanat fakat wa akhir shay herbivores tagadha ala al ashab aw anabat fakat. Consumer that eat only plants are called herbivores. Oh, al mustahlik al tagadha anabat fakat usama herbivores. Consumer that eat only animals are called carnivores. Tagadha al ala akil. Carnivores, consumer that eat both plants and animals. Both omnivores are called omnivores. Of course, we as human or people, we are called omnivores because we eat both plants and animals. Animals that are killed or eaten by another animals are called preys. Now, this sentence is the opposite of this sentence, okay? Animals that kill and eat other animals are called predators. Predators, as lions, tigers, okay? Any food chain starts with, as we said above, uh, starts with what a producer as the plant. The first level of consumer in a food chain is, is a carnivore. في أساس الغذائية هو الكارنيفور الأكل اللحوم. Lions are the top predators. ال الأسود تعتبر هي أعلى في أعلى أو قمة الحيوانات المفترسة الميني جيم ريزيرفز في المحميات الطبيعية الكثيرة. Then page number three. 
we have two lessons lesson one and two reversible changes page 40 and 41 and reversible changes page 42 and 43 التفاعلات القابلة للرجوع فيها والتفاعلات القابلة قابلة للرجوع فيها مرة أخرى complete with correct word reaction بمعنى التفاعل هنا بمعنى التفاعل شباب وليس ردة فعل بمعنى التفاعل dissolve يذوب أو ذوبان irreversible يعني لا يمكن الرجوع فيه irreversible يعني يمكن الرجوع فيه Reversible changes. The التفاعلات اللي يمكن الرجوع فيها means that the matter can return its original form. ممكن يا شباب تعود مرة أخرى إلى صيغتها الأصلية. طبعاً في التغير الإيش القابل للرجوع. Give me example. أعطيني مثال كده يا شباب. As when we freeze water to ice, we can also get it back from ice to water. It's a called reversible change. Reversible changes. The التغيرات الغير قابلة للرجوع means that the matter can't return. No, لا يستطيع أن يعود back to to its original form. Okay. So we we can't get it back. As give me an example, when we make popcorn, لما نعمل شباب الفشار, we can't get it back to its seeds. ما نعرفش نرجعها للبذور بتاعتها مرة أخرى. So that's we call it irreversible. غير قابل للرجوع. When salt or sugar is mixed with water, they dissolve in it. لما السكر والملح يتم خلطهم بالماء فبيذوبوا في الماء. Dissolve. Rusting is a chemical reaction. الصدى هو تفاعل كيميائي. Quickly. True or false? When ice is heated, it melts and changes into water vapor. لما يتم تسخين التلج يا شباب يتحول إلى بخار ماء أو يتحول إلى ماء فقط إلى ماء فقط to water only, not water vapor. So it's false. Water vapor is water in the gaseous state. بخار الماء هو ماء في الحالة الغازية. Of course, true. Water can change from a state to another on changing in temperature. المياه يمكن تتحول من حالة إلى أخرى بتغير الحرارة. Of course, true. Dissolving is a reversible change. الذوبان هو تفاعل يمكن الرجوع فيه of course true because we can get it back when make evaporation لما نعمل تبخر we can get it back evaporation and condensation are irreversible changes التبخر والتكثف تفاعلات لا يمكن الرجوع فيها of course false because it's reversible قابلة للرجوع فيها burning and fizzing الاشتعال أو الاحتراق والمواد القابلة لي when you put a tablet لما نضع يا شباب قرص قرشان في المية يحصل له فيزنج فوران بنسميها فوران او الفوار ار ريفرسبل تشينجز تغيرات قابله للرجوع اوف كورس فولس ريفرسبل بيكوز وي كانت ميك ات اور جيت ات باك اور ريتيرن ات تو اتس اوريجينال فورم وين ايرن از اكسبوز تو اوكسجين ان اير ات راس لما يتعرض الحديد للاكسجين في الهواء يصدق اوف كورس ترو جود ذا لاست ورك شيت اند ورك شيت نمبر 4 اند ليسون 5 Topic three, lesson four, mixing solids and water, page forty-six and forty-seven. Okay, match the words with their definitions. What's the كمان بتعرفتها؟ Soluble, soluble معناه شباب هذا ال الجسم أو هذه المادة قابلة للذوبان. When a solid dissolves in water, عندما يذوب هذا الجسم في الماء. Insoluble غير قابل للذوبان. When a solid doesn't or doesn't dissolve, dissolve يذوب أو الذوبان is the action of mixing soluble solid in water. لما يحمل لما نخلط الجسم القابل للذوبان في المياه يا شباب فبنسمي ديزول يذوب. React بمعنى يتفاعل او تفاعل is when a solid in water forms a new substance لما الجسم في المياه يا شباب يعمل ماده جديده فبنسميها كده React زي ما نحط when we put a tablet قرص برشام in water في المياه يحصل له فيزنج or React. Uh, the last question of our first part today in our final revision irreversible, soluble, soluble, evaporation or evaporating. غير قابل للرجوع قابل للذوبان غير قابل للذوبان قابل للذوبان والتبخر. When a substance dissolves in water, you can recover it by evaporating the water. لما مادة عندما مادة تذوب في المياه تقدر نحن نرجعها مرة ثانية بالتبخر يا شباب. Salt and flour are kinds of soluble in water. الملح والدقيق هو نوع من المواد القابلة للذوبان في المياه. Sand and and so dust are kinds of insoluble in water. الرمال ونشاط الخشب أنواع من المواد الغير قابلة للذوبان in water. The change is reversible when some solids react react with with water to form a new substance. هذا التفاعل يعتبر تفاعل غير قابل للرجوع فيه لما المادة الصلبة تتفاعل مع المياه فتكون مادة جديدة. We have finished our final revision of the first part today. Until we meet again, inshallah, next time. I wish all of you good luck and goodbye.